we, we can talk about your book all day long, but the bad part is, is that we're going to miss out on some of the things some of the things that you may want to impart upon us, Clarissa. Um, in, in the book, what was your favorite part to write, Clarissa? Um, I had a lot of favorite parts to write, actually. Um, Chris and I, you know, when we first it started, you know, we're like, we've got this concept. What do we do with it? And Chris goes, let's write a Facebook post. I'm like, nope, it'll get it'll get lost. You know, it'll it's not worth our time. So we decided we were going to write an article and try to get it published in, in a science journal, you know, try to get people to take us seriously. And we got, uh, I don't know, 75 to 80 pages into it. And I told him, I'm like, it's too big. And of course he goes, that's what she said. <laughs> and, and I'm like, you know, we've got two choices. There's nothing sacred, Clarissa. No, nothing is <laughs> sacred. Hello, talk course. is never sacred. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I said we've got two choices we can either A cut it down or B try to turn it into a book and he goes well you're the author what do you think and I said well let me see if I can find a publisher and so I you know sent out some feelers and we got someone who was willing to publish it and I ended up with a ridiculous deadline. It was like five weeks from where we were. And so we literally spent five weeks all pulling almost consecutive all-nighters, you know, the two of us writing this book, you know, to the point where, you know, we were laughing so hard writing some of these, some of these chapters and writing some of this stuff, you know, and rewriting and editing and, and everything, um, you know, and just... I have never had more fun writing a book than I had writing this book, even though it's a, it's a very serious book, uh, but it was a blast to write. And, um, you know, and, and a lot of that has to do with, you know, with my co-author, you know, Chris and I get along so well together. You know, we, we get along great on the radio. We get along great when we're writing together, we investigate together well, and we're just really good friends. And, um, when we were writing chapter two, giving real world examples of psychosomatic pareidolia um, that were not paranormal in nature, you know, how, how it applies to, you know, pretty much everything we encounter. Um, I think that was, for me, that was probably my favorite part. We wrote a, a sub chapter called is Santa Claus coming to town? Yep, yep. And, you know, you've got this this little kid on Christmas Eve, you know, who goes to bed uncharacteristically early. Um, but his brain, his or her brain is so focused on Christmas and so focused on Santa that as this child is laying in bed, every little noise that they hear. You know, and these are the, probably the same noises that happen in the house every night. You know, they just they're not paying attention to them. You know, whether it's a, a tree branch scraping on, along the side of the house or, you know, or um, floorboards, you know, popping or what have you. In this child's mind, it's Santa Claus, you know, coming to deliver, you know, the almighty presence. And, you know, and so it's, it's a real world example of how psychosomatic pareidolia, it, no one's immune to it. It happens to everybody. And it's not just in the paranormal field where it happens. It happens everywhere all the time. And so I think that was probably my most favorite part. Um, if I had to pick a part, uh, was writing chapter two, um, when we were, you know, giving these, these real world examples, um, of how it applies outside of the paranormal field. If I recall, we had a pretty long list of things we could have used in that too. We did. I didn't, didn't use them all because there are so many real world examples. Yeah, we had to whittle it down to three. Yep. Correct. Yeah, otherwise the book would have been way too big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too big, she said. Yeah. No, I said it would have been. Right. Oh, <laughs> would have been, could have been. Could have been it better. Could've, it it could have been, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I read it between Kansas City and Vegas. Um, no problem. Fantastic. So, and luckily, like, 
like we said before, it was lucky that we did that he was able to do that because of you know we didn't know that we were going to be hosting <laughs> the show. <laughs> Well, that was the bar we were trying to set somewhere. You know, if you could read a book between Kansas City and Vegas, we figured that was a pretty good book. Yeah, and and on a flight, not a drive, because the drive (laughs) is what? How long is the drive from? Well, yeah, it would have been pretty epic at that point. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. The next one may be epic, but we're still working on that. We're still tossing that idea around, right, Clarissa? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. You know, the the current book that Chris and I are working on together um, has the potential to be uh, three or 400 pages and, and it's not going to be, you know, the, the paperback trade size six by nine, you know, it's going to be the eight and a half by 11. So imagine 400 pages of eight and a half by 11. (laughs) It's, it's, it's got some, we get carried away and silly sometimes too. It has enormous potential. (laughs) Um, It does. It does. Yes. (laughs) We'll see. We're tossing around some things. We've got, some parts of this written and you know i don't know everything you know things are always subject to change though yes. yeah we're I glad know. you guys enjoyed the book I, I know you actually bought it i think you sent us a picture with it which I oh yeah like, great she actually bought it that's great yeah. <laughs> she didn't just say oh yeah i read your book she was one of the three people that bought it <laughs> <laughs> no it was more than three but you know those numbers uh, could be bigger folks so if you'd like to go to www.cccv books.weebly.com and order one please feel free yes yeah please it, like i said it's an easy book <laughs> shameless read. plug you hey that's what this is i tell everybody all the time this show is about the the guest and the listener it is not about me it's about you so whatever you want to talk about is what we're going to be talk, talking about so clarissa what what events do you have coming up that you need to plug um as far as events go, my calendar is actually clear right now for 2019, uh, surprisingly enough. Um, you know, I'm usually going to Paracons and speaking at conferences and stuff. Um, but for right now, it's it's actually pretty clear. It's probably going to stay that way because I just bought a car. Uh, I haven't had a car payment in over 10 years. And so now I've got this car payment and my insurance went up and all of that fun stuff. So, you know, getting the, the means to travel uh you know, in the next six months or so is going to be a little difficult, but, um, good time to plug the book there, right there. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. I've got a car payment now, folks. And and I, and I have to split the royalties with Chris. So buy two, (laughs) um, they make great gifts. Mm -hmm. And, uh, (laughs) and, uh, but no, that, you know, you can always find me on the radio. You can always find me on Facebook. Um, uh, you know, I'm always investigating something. Uh, you know, I'm doing uh, paranormal investigations all the time. And, uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm not investigating something, I'm either writing about it or talking about it on the radio. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much everywhere. And I, I'm not hard to find as long as you spell my name right. That's, uh, that's the bigger problem. Vasquez is, can be spelled a couple different ways. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 the Puerto Rican pronunciation and spelling. It's Vasquez and it's V A Z Q U E Z. So it's uh, uh, it's a little difficult to find me sometimes, but uh, you know, I'm I'm once once you find me, you know, it's kind of kind of hard to lose me. So. (laughs) And you guys have a a Facebook page together as well, right? Mm -hmm. We sure do. We have a fan page, Facebook.com forward slash C C C V Books. And so that, that would make it easier to find them. Yeah, CC, right. you know, for Chris Carr and CV for Clarissa Vasquez. You know, so if you, you know, Facebook and, you know, CCCV Books, you can find us. And and uh, you can find out about our, our radio shows. And, um, you know, if if we're going to be in the, in the same general vicinity, uh, you know, doing an event or, you know, doing an investigation, you know, it, you'll be able to find the information on that there. Um, and sometimes just some random nuttiness, uh, we'll put up on there too. Well, I did see all your trouble with the car stuff yeah, and, and all that. So I was glad to see that you got an, a new car and that you were able to, to get through all that. So yeah, having your transmission explode while you're driving, um, is, uh, kind of scary. Never good. 
well, have a car payments are just as scary. Yeah, you know, yeah. well, especially when you accrue three hundred dollars a month in new bills, you know, between car between right. car payment and insurance increase and everything, it's like my monthly expenses are going up three hundred bucks. But you got to look at it like you could be putting money into the car that just you know you're just losing money on. So right. You know, so you definitely get a, a nice ride now. So. Yeah, I do. It's it, it's safe. It's reliable. Um, handles great in the snow. We had a major storm roll through this weekend. Uh, the car does great in the snow, and so uh, it's it, it's good. That's I'm I'm pretty I'm, much I'm, a requirement in Colorado now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you get? I know it wasn't a Prius. No, it wasn't a Prius. Um, I got a uh, I got a Hyundai Sonata. Oh, okay. yeah, we got we have a Hyundai Elantra, our second one. Ten year, we bought one 20, 2007 one, and we loved it so much that we bought a two thousand and seventeen one. Beautiful. And we drove it Probably right after we bought it. One. Yeah, we're planning on buying a twenty twenty seven one. There um, you go. Great car. But we car. right after we bought it, we drove it across across I seventy. <laughs> we did not have ten year financing. <laughs> oh, we drove I seventy to Vegas. Is uh, is Brenda one of your listeners, yes, Denise? She's, yes, okay, she's. because I just got a notification saying that Brenda went and liked our Facebook page. Thanks, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. You rock, you Brenda. Can, you can you. find our you can find our book on Amazon. <laughs> I shared the link. So outstanding. So, but I would like to thank thank you so much, Clarissa, for taking time out of your busy schedule to come on with us tonight. Oh, I know that. Like I said, we'll have to do it again sometime when you have more time. How often do they see each other in person since they live so far away? Not often enough. <laughs> yeah, not too often. You know, uh, first it gets out this way uh, two, three times a year. And uh, I've never been to Colorado, <laughs> at least not yet. So if you're going to go, go in the summer. It's very nice out They can't ski out there in, in the, the summer. summertime. Well, if you like to ski, then but go in March. <laughs> a good time to go in March. But when we went in April, they still had snow on the slopes in Vail and Breckenridge. Mm -hmm. so Is that right? Came out, yeah, we came out of the tunnel, and all of a sudden it it was 60 degrees in Denver. We came out of the tunnel, and it was 30 and sleeting, and I was like, oh, shit. But you know you can do in the summer is you can fish, and that's a good thing. That's beautiful. Yes. So. Yes, so, there's lots of fish. We in both fish. We're, we're we both, do. Uh, fisher we're both people. Avid so. fishermen, yeah. But so, Chris, you need to come out for my birthday while there's still snow on the on the slopes, and uh, and the ice will be thawed from some of the reservoirs, and so you can ski and and then we can go fishing. There you right go. On. Problem you solved. Can ski, you can ski. I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm not a skier. Well, I actually haven't hey. skied in a number of years, but I, I plan on. Uh, doing something over the winter. Well, so. then I'll watch and laugh. I'm a great skier. I just. Ah. I want to say thank you to Brenda. She bought two of your books. Oh, Get thank you, Brenda. You rock, Brenda. So, if you're in Massachusetts or Colorado, we will buy you a cheeseburger. So, <laughs> no. Thank you, I'm just Clarissa, joking. for coming no, on. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are now at our break. So. You guys, come on back. We're going to be talking to Chris when we come back. Clarissa, thank you so much. My You're pleasure. listening to WBHM. D, uh, WB. Uh, <coughs> I can't even talk. I'm my, WBHM Digital Broadcasting out of <coughs> Birmingham, Alabama. You're listening to the Paranormal Pride, and we'll be back in a few minutes, and we'll talk to you soon. Right on. <laughs> 